Well, hello everybody. I'm sitting here, it's about quarter after nine in the morning. I'm, as you can see, Kenworth, I'm in the truck. I'm waiting to get loaded. I don't start for another 45 minutes. There's two trucks in the dock right now getting loaded. They just backed in. But I decided to make a video I'm going to call the Harley dealer and let them know I'm going to pick up my bike, get it out of storage on Saturday. It's supposed to be 68 degrees and it's time to get that thing out of storage. It went there last fall to get the 10,000 mile service, uh, the front brakes fixed. Uh, a new tire on the front and of course with the 10,000 mile service that included a three hole oil change and just looked the bike over really good everything so it's all ready he said to call him about a week before I pick it up and they'll have it all washed up and all ready to go and it's been on a battery charger all winter I'm just in this last few days, I've been just getting that itch that I need to ride. And it'll be my first ride of 2024. Since I only have my camera on my phone right now, I won't be able to record it. But I'll probably take a few shots and record a little bit when I stop and i've got to go to my sister's house and do a little favor for her and then i'm going to try to meet up with my niece she's going to be in omaha she uh lives in oklahoma and she'll be working at the uh quest center in omaha doing a uh garden expo show home and garden so who's already been riding I know down south you guys ride most every day of the year but Nebraska Iowa that that isn't the case and especially as I get older the warmer I want it to be before I ride I don't like freezing my ass off and the worst is my hands get so cold and I have not found I spent a hundred bucks for a pair of Harley Davidson gloves and they don't do any better than any other. I thought about going to heated gloves, but yeah, maybe someday. I'm cheap though. And then, you know, after I saw the Andre one, then I know they're not all this. And maybe even the brand he had, you know, it's just kind of rare, I don't know. But he was charging the batteries for a pair of heated gloves that some company sent him and them damn things caught fire in his house so you know it makes me a little leery well if anybody knows any heated gear that doesn't cost an arm and a leg please leave me a comment if you've watched the video this far but other than that everybody have a nice day and I hope you enjoy your rides.